Let's learn the basics of self-hosting your courses and how it will actually work for you, how it's working for me right now. So let's take you through the basics. The first thing you do is you put your online courses onto a beautiful self-hosted school using Teachable, Thinkific, or other platforms like that. There's others like Zendler, there's lots of them. The main point is that you just have to get your courses up there online for people to find and be able to buy. After your courses are online, you create a sales funnel that entices people to buy your paid course. There has to be a reason for people to buy your course and this is where you tell them that reason. After that, you have to drive your traffic to your sales funnel. People will never find your course if they don't get in that sales funnel. Now your sales funnel can be a lot of things. It can be as simple as just a sales page, but the way that's working for me is what I'm going to talk about next. So what is the funnel that I'm using? One is you get traffic to your content. So this could be YouTube, this could be your blog, this could be social media, whatever it means, you have content and you get traffic there. Next, you have a lead magnet with a, an opt-in. So the lead magnet could be anything from an ebook, a free PDF, a free course, a free video series, a free audio guide, anything that entices someone to actually give them your email address in exchange for something. Once you have their email address and they've opted in to your email sequence, you send them a, an automated sequence of emails that gives them educational content, inspirational content, and promotional messages that tries to upsell your paid content. And with that, you make the sales. And after you make the sales, you follow up because once you've made one sale with a person, you are more than likely to make another sale with that person than trying to find new customers. And so it's important to make sure that you follow up. Now I'm really throwing out the very, very basics of what a funnel is. We're going to dive into actually creating this funnel for yourself showing you my funnels and how that works in future lessons. But for now, this is just a good overview of how this course is going to work and what you need to do to be set up for success. And in the next lesson, I'm going to be showing you proof of success, showing you that the funnels that I've set up are actually working, making me revenue each month. And the trajectory of where this revenue is going is very exciting. No, I'm not making millions from my self-hosted courses yet, but right now it's a great backup. It's a great extra stream of revenue so that when I have down months on Udemy and Skillshare and these other places, I have my self-hosted courses to pick me back up. And I think it's very important for you to have multiple streams of courses as well. And since you already have an online course or you're creating your first online course, you can think of those courses as possibly multiple streams of income because you can post them on different places. Get excited, I'll show you my success in the next lesson, and then we will dive into actually creating your own self-hosted courses with Teachable.